<laughs> All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is YouTube, this is Pastor Dow. You know, most people, feelings and emotions are so far in front of them, and it's all that they can see that people can't fathom living the truth. I can't tell you how many times that people come to me and they want answers, and I can see it in their eyes, I can hear it in their voice, they, they want to know the truth, but they have not set their hearts to want to do it because the truth is not going to massage and the truth is not going to appease your emotions and feelings. And most of them would never, ever, ever get the revelation of what it means to do the truth because you don't, hey, understanding is not dropped in your lap and, and the, the way is not paved and it doesn't give you the direction to show it. Um, and it's all mapped out in front of you. This journey is revealed to you as you go. Even life itself. And choices and decisions you make. All right, watch this. And choices and decisions you refuse to make. Regardless, whether you're apprehensive about going forward or not, life has already charted itself and made decisions for you. Whether you make moves or not. And that's why apathy isn't just not going to work. Complacency is simply not going to work because either way it goes, you're going to allow yourself to be put in a dead place, in a dead area, if you understand what I mean. And most people simply are just not ready to live and do the truth. What people want is people to give them answers for their present situation and circumstances and give them a false hope that actually that's the truth and it's going to work. And the truth is it ain't going to work. Somebody the other day was talking to me and, and I said, I hope you're listening. They said, oh, yeah, 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 I'm listening. And you know what I said? All right, so they asked me a question. I gave them the answer that they wanted to hear. Oh, listen to me very close. I said I gave them the answer that they wanted to hear. One more time. They asked me a question. I gave them the answer that they wanted to hear. Did you hear it after the third time? I hope you heard it the first time. And of course, do you know what their attitude was? They were excited. They were elated. They, they were like, wow, yeah, 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 that's the answer. And then I actually let the air out of them. And I said, but did I tell you the truth? See, they assumed since they came to me, and presented a situation to me that I was giving them the truth. Um, and even though I gave them the answer that they wanted to hear, that wasn't the truth. And they got upset kind. I said, wait a minute, you should be upset at your condition of wanting to continue to live your life in deception and being deceived. That's what you should be upset about. You should be upset because you're willing to embrace and you're willing to take on anything that will confirm the deception that is already in your heart. That's what you should be upset about. But no, 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 no. You see, I can give you the answer what you want to hear all day long, but that doesn't mean it's the truth. I can give you the truth knowing full well that it's not even in your heart to even perform it. Most of us, when we come to authority, when we come to people who we know have solutions for our problems, we're not prepared to do the truth. We're not even prepared to even do what they even suggest or what they say because we go around picking people carefully who we're going to listen to, and we're looking for someone to confirm what we already believe, even though we know that what we already believe is not going to be the, the, the answer to our uh, problem, nor is it going to help us to perform life the way that it should. It's called a deceived heart. It's called the heart of deception. And most people don't fare too good with me at all. Um, because if you come to me, I'm, I, I don't have time to toy around with you. Your feelings, your emotions, and all this other stuff that you haven't even been able to make sense of. I'm not going to toy around with you. I'm going to flat out tell you the truth and give you the truth that sets you free. The problem is, is that we have become so accustomed to being a slave, and slave love has changed. Especially when they've been so accustomed and so used to them and stuff. They have no sense of wanting to be free. And, and how many of us live our life in the deception of thinking that we're receiving the truth? 
when really truly what we're doing is going around looking for those to confirm the lie so we can continue to stay in our condition of misery and continue to mope and, and ball, squall and growl and crawl and cry and moan and everything else. And also we can just rehearse this matter and do the same thing again and again and again and again. It's a sad situation and sad condition too, isn't it? And most people, I've, I've come to find this out in my life. Um, that people, the only people that's going to associate and hang around with Pastor Dow um, are, are, are those who have set their hearts right to actually do this faith and live this faith. Because, you know, I have a lot of critics out here. I have a lot of people that pass judgments on me, but I've never seen one of my critics I've never seen anyone who fancy themselves to be my so-called judges actually live this Bible in such a manner where I would be inspired to follow them as they follow the Messiah. Not a one of them. I mean, you look at the fruit of a lot of these people and see what the motivation and energy and passion is behind most of the stuff that they do. And then you ask yourself a question. Are you sure you want to be saddled up with those kind of people? No, no, no. Now, I'm not going to be no hypocrite. I'm sorry, but there are a few people in this world that has have their hearts set aright and their mind made up that they're going to serve the Father uh, with or without you. Uh, and, and few as we are and few as we may be, uh, we're going to get it done and we're going to be rulers in the kingdom. Um, it makes no difference whether you get this, uh, understand this or not. That's totally irrelevant. It's being done with or without you. The one thing about it, people can definitely look at my life. They can peer somewhat into it with these videos and people can receive inspiration. Some people will receive jealousy. Some people receive envy. Whatever the communication of your heart would be, uh, you'll know it when you get there. And most people just simply have not set their heart right to discern their own body, their own spirit, nor to actually physically live and do this truth. Why well, I have a long, long time ago. Uh, I laid down my life a long time ago, this old wicked life, and I am not about to ever pick it back up again. I'm going to be an inspiration to those who understand this and to those who want to be in the kingdom of God. I hope I said something to help you discern and to inspire you as you go forth in life. Shalom.